Hello, my name is Eric Jansen, and today I will present some selected works from Spectrum Book One, 20 Contemporary Works for Solo Piano, compiled by Talia Myers. Spectrum consists of four books for solo piano and one book for piano duet. Each book was published by the ABRSM, or the Associated Board of the Royal Schools of Music. The books themselves were compiled by Talia Myers, who is internationally known as an exceptional pianist and performer of new works. She received her musical education at the Royal College of Music in London. In the introduction of Spectrum Book One, Talia Myers writes, The purpose of Spectrum is not primarily educational, although I very much hope that it may indeed prove rewarding material for students. The aim has been to make available the broadest possible range of new music to amateur and professional players in pieces that, by design, are neither excessively long nor excessively difficult. The first book was published in 1996 and won the Music Industries Association Standard Publication Award that same year. Since then, new Spectrum books have been released every few years, the most recent being the Spectrum for Piano Duet in 2012. The pieces included in the Spectrum series are ideal for students who are interested in newer music but aren't quite ready to tackle works by George Crum or John Adams. In addition, they are also good for students who have become jaded to composers of the standard practice period. Spectrum Book 1 ranges from levels 5 to 8 using the ABRSM leveling system. However, it is important to note that the ABRSM leveling system starts at level 1 and ends at level 8. This is in contrast to the McGraw leveling system which starts at level 1 and ends at level 10. Essentially, a level 10 piece in accordance to the McGraw leveling system will be about as difficult as an ABRSM piece level 8. In addition, it is important to note that these books do not get progressively harder. In fact, book 1 is the most difficult book of the series. According to the ABRSM leveling system, book 2 ranges from levels 1 to 6, book 3 from levels 3 to 7, and book 4 from levels 1 to 4. Because of the non-sequential leveling of these books, they are best used in lessons as supplemental material rather than the core of a student's repertoire. Each piece explores some kind of contemporary technique or idea. Some examples are minimalism, atonality, playing inside of the piano, chord clusters, new forms of notation, and aleatoric music. Saz is by the British minimalist composer Graham Fitkin. This piece is largely chordal and will provide a challenge for students who have small hands and troubles voicing. This piece is barren, slow, longing, and will provide a challenge for students to interpret successfully. Toccata by David Bedford is a minimalist piece with etude-like qualities. This piece requires endurance and coordination to perform effectively.
This aleatoric work provides a simple way of introducing students to chance music. The composer writes, play one of the following chords, fifths, at the beginning of each melodic fragment to act as a type of drone. The chords can also be played an octave lower than written. Sometimes play a melodic fragment or two without any chords. In the introduction of this piece, he also writes, treat this piece as you would a puzzle, putting the various pieces together. The only difference is that there is no right way. It's up to your own ears to judge the best way to do this. You do not have to use all of the fragments, and you can repeat any if you want to. Mira is a larger work ideal for competitions and recitals. Lasting approximately six minutes in length, this piece captures a wide range of characters. The A section is light and airy with changing meters and a strong character. The B section is hellish and dramatic with cluster chords in the lower range of the piano. The student will enjoy playing the piano with the palm of their hands along with their elbow. Finally, the A section returns at a much slower tempo, reminiscing on the joyful times which have been lost. Diversion alternates between 2-4 and 6-8 time signatures. It is a quirky, bizarre piece which will challenge any student's perception of rhythm. Howard Skempton's music is often associated with the English School of Experimental Music. This piece is no exception. This short work is in two voices which trade a creeping melody. All of the pieces included in the Spectrum series can be found on Spotify as performed by Talia Myers. In addition, I included a link in the box below to Talia Meyer's website. 
I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you will continue to explore the Spectrum series with your own students. And thank you so much.